Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another sneak peek. In this video, let's check out the all new text as layers feature inside of On One Photo Raw 2024. With text as layers, you can modify, manipulate, and mask in the text to fit that particular scene that you're editing. Whether you're compositing, creating graphics, or just wanting to add on text into your photograph, this new feature will help immensely to bring those images to life. So let's jump into Photo Raw 2024 and check out text as layers. So inside of PhotoRot 2024 here, let's take a look at the text as layers feature and we'll use this photograph and we'll turn it into a cinematic movie poster. We'll add some text as a title and we'll also give it some credits at the bottom. So let's go into the edit module here. And I'm not gonna do anything to the photograph. It's a little bit styled already. The only thing I wanna focus on right now is just getting the text title in and then also the credits at the bottom. So let's take a look at the layers here, the layers pane instead of Photoraw 2024. We now have this T at the bottom, this text icon here that we can select and it's going to add in a new text layer. Let me just switch up the font here by going into this properties dialog. And I'm just going to use one of my favorites here. It's this Bebus or Bebus, not sure how to pronounce it, but it's one of my all time favorite fonts. It just looks really awesome with a ton of images. And let's say we want to name this movie poster or this movie that we're creating. We want to name it the window. We can just type that into that text box there. I'm going to make the text box a little bit larger so that I can bring the text to life by enlarging that as well. Oops, I need to grab the text. So let me grab the text there and we'll bring that into view by increasing that size quite a bit. Let's just go to around 968 or so. That looks pretty good. Let's just make sure we can see all of that text by enlarging our text box there. And let's just put it maybe right there or so. Looks pretty good. So we've placed our text in the scene. But let's say we want to maybe modify the appearance or the alignment. We can head up to this text tab in our properties dialog here, and we can head into the appearance. We can modify the color of the text. We can choose a text from the colors dialog, or we can actually just use this color dropper to find a specific color within the scene that we'd like to use. I'm just gonna use pure white here. If we need to modify the alignment, we can switch that up there. We can modify the spacing if we need to make it a little bit larger there. And then we can also modify the kerning here with our character option. We then have transform where we can modify the width and height and angle to any exact specifications. And then we have opacity here, where we can modify the opacity of the actual text. And we can also add in a color fill layer if we need to. We can choose to modify that opacity as well if we need to blend it in a little bit more with the scene. I'm just gonna leave it as is there, just sort of bare bones text. But there's a couple of great things that we can do now because text is a layer inside of Photo Raw. We can blend it and we can also mask it, which makes it really helpful if we need to apply it to a specific area or we want to blend it into a region with a blending mode. So let's check out blending modes here, right in this blending dialog or tab rather. And we can just use that blend menu and we can modify the blend mode. Like I mentioned earlier, we can also mask the different text layers that we add onto the scene. So let's do that with this, the window layer, our title layer, which I'll just rename that in our layers pane there. And we'll just rename this layer background as well. So we have our background layer and our title layer. 
So to quickly mask in the window layer here, um, what I'm going to do is I want to create a color range mask that targets these dark areas in the scene. So I can sort of mask away the O and the W from the back of the subject here. And I can also remove it from the N here as well. That will give it a little bit more depth and just add in some creativity to the scene. So to do that, let's just go into our background layer here. And what I like to do when I'm just creating a sort of null mask, if you will, is I'll just go into the effects tab. I'll add a filter and I'll use a curves filter. The reason being is that with the curves filter, it doesn't actually apply anything until you modify the tone curve. And all we need to do here is just create a mask. So let's go into the masking options there. And I'm going to choose color range. Within my color range mask settings here, I'm going to grab this color dropper and just drop it on this area of sort of shadowy black. So if we view this, remember in masking, white reveals and black conceals. So what we need to do here is we need to ensure that the areas within the window are all white and the areas that are in white right now need to be covered in black. So let's just invert that mask. Perfect. So now we're gonna copy this mask that we just created. We'll go into that title layer there. We'll go into the masking options and we'll paste that mask. And you can see it's targeted those areas of that dark shadowy black and it's masked the window title away from those areas. And so it gives us this sort of cool depth where the text is outside of that frame within our scene. So what I wanna to do to just give it a little bit more depth here is just bring in the the all the way into the window. So I'm just going to grab my masking brush and I'm just going to paint that in, to paint that back in rather into that scene. So we just have, again, just a little bit more depth where we have the in sort of the foreground and then in the background is that window option. You could also play around with bringing in separate letters, have the W in as well. But for that, what I would recommend doing is going in and modifying the global settings and bringing in a little bit more of that density, or at least pulling back rather on the density so that we can see some of the other letters. And then you can hit Shift and P on your keyboard. And you can just add in a mask there. We'll switch that to paint in and we'll bring that into the scene. So now if we go to our masking options and we go to global settings, we'll just bring the density back there and we're good to go. But I think it looks a little weird like that, so let's just undo that. But it is an option if you're looking to sort of bring back other letters within the scene. All right, so we have our title here. We have the window. Let's bring in some credits at the bottom. So I'm just gonna add in another text layer here and let's just double click to rename this credits. We'll go back into the text here. Let's grab it and actually make it quite a bit smaller. And then let's change up the font here. And I have a really cool one for sort of movie credits. And it adds in edited by, directed by right here. So I've just actually created a little bit of a credit section here. So let me just copy that and paste that into the scene. And let me grab this and move this down a little bit here. And we're gonna switch up the alignment and we're gonna to go to center aligned. And let's make it just a little bit bigger, maybe around 98 or so. And we'll modify that text box size. I don't know why it's so long. 
Let's just get rid of that. But then we'll just widen it a little bit there. Bring that down. And it's looking cool. I think we could bring it down even a little bit more there. But it's looking really sort of professional. You know, it's looking nice and it's really coming along nicely. Um, one thing I think we could add into just maybe take it to that uh, next level is just bring in those logos at the bottom that they have for movies. So I'm just going to add in a layer here. And I have this interstellar um, sort of just cut out from a movie poster. But all we really need is this section at the bottom there. So I'm just going to pull this down. Just place that below my credits there. We'll zoom in quite a bit. And let's rename this logos here. And we're going to grab our masking options for our logos so that we're masking with this particular layer there. I'm going to hold down Shift and P on my keyboard. And I'm just going to cut out the logos that we need for the bottom. So I'm sorry, Christopher Nolan, that I'm stealing your logo credits just like that. And then we'll paint away the outside. Let's zoom out there. And then the one thing we need to do to get rid of that black backdrop behind our text is we'll go into the blending options for our logos layer and we'll use screen. So we can pull this up here. And there we go. We have those um, movie credit logos down at the bottom. Makes it look a, just a little bit more legit. And so now everything's looking pretty peachy. I think it's it's looking pretty professional there. The one thing that we can do now if we want to is go into the background image and we can modify it if we need to. Let me resize my layers pane here to just see a little bit more of those layers. So let's just go into our background layer. Let's go into the effects. We can just remove this curves. Let's add a filter and let's add on a texture here. And let's use this leak option. I really enjoy this sort of fireness or fireness, fiery uh, overlay there. It sort of co um, contrasts the, the snow and chilliness into the scene. So I think that looks pretty cool there just as sort of uh, a creative overlay into the scene. Remember, you can always go back into the layers option and let's say you're modifying your, your logos. You can open up that effect that you've added into your background layer really easily there by just opening up that layer and then you can double click the textures. And if you need to adjust, you can do that really quickly there. But anyway, I think that's looking pretty good with just that light leak layer there. So we'll leave that. And that was a sneak peek into the text is layers feature instead of photo raw 2024. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.